Hey y'all, I'm Laura and welcome back to my channel. <sighs> so, we're not going to talk about how insane everything has been. Um, I do sound a little better. It wasn't COVID, anything like that, just <sighs> a cold that... When I tell you that I have a lot of stuff that I need to film for y'all, that is a, a, what I'll call an understatement. So, I'm just going to jump right into this one. <clears throat> So today I have a thrift store haul for you. And let me tell you, like I, thrift store has been killing it recently. Like absolutely killing it. The one around the corner from my house, we're not going to talk about it. Like I've got a couple of thrift hauls that I'm going to get through, but I got to get through this first one first because it's taking up a lot of space. So there is a thrift store around the corner from my house. It's like North Raleigh Catholic Ministries, I think. Are they Catholic? Is it Catholics? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it is though. North Raleigh, why do I feel they're Catholic? It's totally fine, like, me too. But, um, I just it, like, just as a proof point. So, I have been in there a couple of times, and they have, like, literally, like, absolutely killed it. Um, especially, like, on the decor side of the house. Like, all the old people in, like, North Raleigh, when they're cleaning out their house, they're cleaning out, like, some nice house stuff, let me tell you. So, the first thing I wanna show you is this pillow. I know, right? Could you die? So this has already been like washed and sanitized and everything, but this is an enormous pillow and it wasn't, it wasn't, didn't come together. This is actually a pillow cover that, um, and you can see the big fluffy pillow inside. So the pillow itself, like the pillow form, $4 and there were two of them. So I got two of these like 20 by 20 pillow forms for like four dollars each so eight dollars and this is this one is huge like huge and i know beyond a shadow of a doubt that these things go because i've tried to price them they go for like 20 25 bucks on amazon even like at amazon it's like 20 bucks so to get one for 40 for four dollars that i then went and sanitized uh yes yes please and i think this was like i think the pillow the case was donated by the same person the cover itself was two dollars so I'm back. My dog was outside for hours and hours and hours already. And of course, the minute I sit down and Morgan's taking a nap, she wants to go out. Anywho, back to this pillow. Oh my God. So I already swapped out all of the winter pillows from the couch downstairs and I didn't have anything springy, I guess. And since I do I got black and white check like all over creation downstairs. Um, I thought this was great. So I got this one, like I said, in total six bucks, crazy. And then, yeah, these have been taking up a lot of space in my office. And then this is the other pillow form. It's got a little rip right here, I don't care, I'll sew it. Um, but they didn't have two of the checkered cases so I did get a case off of Shein that's coming so hopefully it'll be big enough but still four dollars for a pillow form oh my god like ridiculous yes 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 all day long yes so what uh <laughs> all right a couple of other things I did pick up some kids clothes um uh, for Missy Mo I found this really cute um tangled Rapunzel shirt. This is a 3T. I might, this might be too small for her already. She had a little growth spurt and a girl's belly might be showing. So we'll put it in a drawer. We'll see what happens. It wasn't that expensive. Honestly, though, I think I feel like this was like $3, which for a thrift store, like kids t-shirt is kind of pricey. I got a bunch of stuff for her for $2 at Walmart in clearance. Um, now this here, this is cute. So this here, I got a little blue and white polka dotted skirt. This is from Children's Place. It's an extra small, so size four. This, totally fine for her. And this was like two bucks. So yes. Now, I have to show you, this is not from the thrift store around the corner from my house. Like I said, there's two that I really love. One is like Hand Me Up Thrift Store. I don't know, I love it because they're open on Sundays. And I don't know, I love going on Sundays at like 4.30. Anyways, they, for some reason, have, like, the best, like, sweaters. Like, 
ridiculous like sweaters and like vintagey sweaters and sweatshirts and all that and yeah so I went there last Sunday and I found some gems let me show you some of these gems that I found and all of these were four dollars a piece so first up is this amazing old lady vintage sweatshirt and it says Grand Turk what is it Grand Turk original BWI I don't even know what it is so this is an extra large the perfect hoodie Pacific and Co I'm pretty sure this is vintage right established 1985 I don't know if it is or not but it's a I mean it's a nice decently quality sweatshirt here but I love like I don't see like the grandma vibes of it I think it's spectacular let me see if it has a date on here I don't think it does I don't know but yeah awesome those I still have to wash then I picked up it's so funny like I last week it was really cold and so I went and I'm like I need new sweaters I need more sweaters and I'm like let me look at the, the thrift store and it's gonna be like in this get back into the 60s so then I picked up this I know this is gonna be oversized I picked up this DKNY I'm getting all washed out but this DKNY um it's got fuzzies on it sweater this and i love the rolled neck of it i swear like i had some rolled neck sweaters like a mark in the 90s it does say it's a 1x it's a hundred percent cotton but i was like that's fine it's gonna be oversized um but like for four bucks and oh gosh this rolled hem i had like a limited sweater with this rolled hem like so, bringing me nostalgia vibes anyways i thought i can't go wrong with like a black cotton cable knit oversized sweater no. Then I found this coat from Morgan. This here was $3.99, but it was four, it was um 50% off because all the winter coats were. Look at this. It's a little this is a 4T, so I think she'll be fine. So her favorite color is red. The minute this child was old enough to talk, she announced her favorite color was red. This is from Maggie and Zoe, and I don't know what brand that is. Um, but anyways, it's a 4T and it's red with these leopard buttons and this like leopard cuff dying dying this is the cutest damn thing i've ever seen so for two dollars yes yes to the yes to the yes so picked up that for her then i found this in the men's section and i don't know if it's a men's sweater or not but I am 150% here for it. And it's this like H&M sweater. Like, I don't think this has ever been worn. It didn't have the tags on it, but I, I don't think this has ever been worn. So size large H&M sweater. This like fantastic like V-neck sweater with like, the reason why I don't think it's men's is because it has these like wide sleeves. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Get you a little little cami to wear under that so you don't show too much skin on your Zoom calls. Good to go. Then I also picked up this sweater, which um, it's like towards the end of the season, right? So I get it, but it's a, look at this. It's a little snowflake. Figured you can't go wrong with like a cream a snowflake sweater. And the other thing too is this is a really like light wit light weave knit it does have a little hole right here i didn't see that i can sew that or i won't but anyways this is lauren conrad cole's brand right it says this one is an extra large but it looks it don't look that extra large and so picked up that four dollars then i also oops it's another gray sweater oh no i got this for myself oh let me tell you something like this jacket here i have this jacket I had this from Target like a while ago, but this is a different one. Anyways, this is, um, all the jackets were 50% off, like I said. So this is Banana Republic, um, and it's like a, like a zippy up jacket, um, gray with pockets. I don't know. I thought it was really, like, this is nice. Like, this is a great transition piece here for the South, like, when it's, 55 degrees right and you put on the leggings with this instead of the leggings in your sweatshirt like you've been wearing for the past five months 
Then, I think this is the last on the clothing, I think, is this. I found pajamas. You know, like I've been a big old pajama fan recently. So this is, this is from Walmart. This is an extra large or so, and I usually wear the larges in this brand. Secret Treasures. Look, it says, need my coffee, and it's got little Christmas lattes on it. How cute is that? Christmas lattes on it. It came with that, and it came with the pants. And there was, I saw, look, the tags are still on it. So it says 10 bucks. I mean, all right. Anyways, tags are still on this. So whoever got this for Christmas was like, I don't want it. This is, I don't like it. I'm going to donate it or something happened. I don't know. I don't care. It's mine now. It was like $4 also, like for the top and the bottom, four bucks. That's going to be my thumbnail. It's not. So yeah, it was like, okay, that's really great. I'm going to take all of those things. Then I was also on the hunt for some decor, like some spring decor and something. Like I, I told y'all before, I didn't really like, I do a really shitty job of like decorating my house. And now that you're home all the time, I was like, I should decorate more because I'm tired of looking at the same stuff. And I, I have next to nothing in like spring and summer decor. Fall, we're good. Winter, we're good. Spring and summer, not so much. So at that same, at the hand me up thrift store, I got those clothes. I also found this vase. Look how cool this is. So in the Dollar Tree haul I did before, I told you I found these like banana leaves, right? And, and I was like, I'm gonna put these into a white pot. And I thought like, it's really hard to see, but you get the gist. So white pot, banana leaves. I think I'm gonna get like, I know I have styrofoam somewhere to like, arrange them like a little nicer but this pot here was four dollars and 29 cents it has its stickers on it from somewhere conrad's i don't even know who that is it's like 18 bucks originally so look how cute this is for like under not under for just about 10 bucks i made this really cute piece of decor which you know at like tj maxx would be like 35 dollars so yes, yes, got that. The other thing that I got at that hand me up thrift store was this thing here and it says flower arranger. Yeah, it says center please flower arranger and it's a flower frog, but it's a circular one. So all of these holes in here are like what you would put either your real or your fake flowers in here. And then it makes like a centerpiece thing. I was like, that's really cool. And it was 99 cents. So yeah, so I picked up this for all of the flowers and greenery that I picked up recently. You know how it goes. Then I also picked up this like really cute like white basket. Um, again, black and white. It's not farmhouse. I'm just lazy. No. I figure if I go with a black and white base, right, right, and then you add an accent color. So for the spring, my accent color is green. See, black, it's got white and green. It'll take me through to June. And I'll be honest, it might last me beyond that because I'm really not a big fan of summer. So there's that too. So anyways, I think this was like two bucks and I thought it was really cute. We can put some leaves in here, we can put some greenery. I bet I got some Dollar Tree greenery right here. I sure do, because I got stuff to haul. Look, look. Worst DIYer on YouTube. See, look at that. You put like some greenery in here in a much nicer way. Look, look at this, $4 right here. You don't get any better than that. That's right, look at that. Look at that. I'm, I'm trying hard to gain the title of worst DIYer on YouTube. So we're gonna, if they ever have awards, I will put my name in for that. So I picked up that for like two bucks. And then this here was $1.99. So it's just a little um, candle stand, all right? But again, I like to use it for height for various things. So for Easter, like Easter slash springtime, 
I'll have my black and my white with my green accents and then bunnies. Bunnies are my other thing, I guess, right? So you put this out, you put some greenery on top of it, you slap a bunny on it, boom, instant decor. I'm telling you. I got this mug at a different thrift store a while back. I think it's really cute. Like it gives me like definite like anthropology vibes, but it has the smallest handle. It's like, you can't even like, you can't get like, you can get like two fingers in here. It's very like precarious. So I get why it was at the, I get why it was like at the thrift store. I got my tea in here. So a little more from the thrift store. I also picked up this. How cute is this little bear? This little sleep bear, he was a dollar. I really love the red lid on this also. Um, I thought just to keep not my coffee warm, but I think my tea warm, my secondary beverage of the day, my second hot beverage of the day. This is cute. There's no, and I don't think it's ever been worn. Like there's no like schmeck in there or nothing. I don't know where they got it, but I thought it was hella cute. So for a dollar, I grabbed that. Then, oh, I also got this at that thrift store too. Look at this egg. It's got, home, homeboy's got some chips on him, right? And so this is, oh, this is from the Dollar Tree. What is this? K's Collection Dollar Tree Distribution. So it was a dollar. Still, I don't know. This must be old Dollar Tree. But look, it's got the little top, little bottom. Somebody put a little votive light in here. I'm going to take that out. It does have some little chippy chips on it, but it was a dollar. I was like, yeah, I'm down for a little dollar egg. We'll do that. Then also going along with the, like the white theme, this is totally random, right? Again, it's a, it's a thrift haul. You get random stuff at the thrift store. So this here used to have a price tag on it. I feel it was a dollar or two. And these are napkin holders. So you get a little piggy napkin holder and there's a bunny and a chicken. I thought those are so cute. Like how can you go wrong with just some like white animal napkin ring holders you can't so i grabbed those as well again two dollars or a dollar something it was cheap like it was real cheap and then look they packed this up in this bag which i thought was really nice of them so this is bones and me i don't know what this is but i guess like somebody donated the bag <clears throat> and um they did a great job wrapping it also again the hand me ups is it hand me ups yeah, hand me ups. It's um, it's run by the folks with um, autism and like developmental disabilities, and so all the proceeds from what you buy there goes towards like helping them live like independent lives. And a lot of and all of the folks who work there have um, either autism or like a developmental disability. So I really like going there too because I know. Like my money's going to a good cause. I don't like donating stuff to them so they can get some money. Anyways, look at this. Look at this ch chicken in an egg. Like, could you even, so this is from Target, right? It was $5 at the thrift store. Like, oh, come on, it's a chicken in an egg. If nothing says like Easter or spring, then a chicken in an egg. I don't know what does. And for $5, because you know this was like 20, 25 bucks at Target. So yes, I will happily get it. Chicken's in pretty good shape. All we got is a little cheapy chip on the, on the thing. Just knocked over my tea. Sad times. Thankfully, I actually have the carpet cleaner in here because one of the cats decided to, anywho. Back to my thrift haul. I picked up this little bun bun, little boy bunny. Also at the thrift store, he was a $2 again, because we're decorating with bunnies. Get him out of there. He needs a little washing. I think he's got a little bleeding on him though. I don't know what happened. I'm actually kind of afraid to wash him. Um, we'll just, we'll just spray him down with some sanitizer. I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay. Then I picked this up yesterday and it was the $6. And I'm not saying it looks a little rough. I think, so this was $6 at North Raleigh Ministries, no Catholics there. 
anyways they do a really great job of like taking some of the things that were donated and just like they have they always have flower arrangements up front and wreaths like for a very like reasonable price so it's got some moss in it we got some we got some ivy right and i don't and again like there's like special tags on it that say that it's floral design exclusively for like north raleigh ministries so they didn't come this way but some lovely old lady I'm not saying old lady, but it, like it's mostly old ladies who work there, which is totally fine because they're fantastic. Um, like grab some ivy and put it in this like brass, like this hammered brass container. And I was like, well, yes, let's get some more like, I'm going to put this like on the back of one of the toilets. It's probably going to go on the downstairs, like on the back of the downstairs toilet, maybe, or the guest toilet. Not certain. I don't know. It's like a very like back of toilet, like it's a nice back of toilet size something. That makes sense. So for $6, I could not buy the base for $6, let alone the greenery for $6. So yes. All right. I ran in, like I said, I ran into the thrift store yesterday, like last couple of minutes before I was going over to Walgreens to get my, um, to get some medicine. And they only had like 20 minutes to close and I did some damage in there. Like, I did some real damage in there. Reason being is because, like, they had just brought out, like, all of their Easter stuff. And, again, I have next to zero spring decor. And I kind of went a little hog hole. I went a little wild. This isn't even all of it. I'm just going to do this piece now. The bags. They had bags and bags and bags and bags on the wall. And, you know... I can't ha I cannot control myself around a bag. I just can't. So this one was two dollars. And this looks like a Boyd's bunny in here. Boyd's bears. You remember Boyd's bears from back in the day? This is. It's a little Boyd's bunny. Little bunny girl. Oh my god, she's adorable. Look at her. So this is Tina Marie Hopgood. Is this an older one? I don't I don't even think they make these anymore. Anyways, so this precious little bunny girl picked her up in the $2 bag. Um, there was a chocolate bunny um, trinket dish, but he lost his head in the bag at some point. Um, I don't know. I can glue him. He's going to go in my tiered tray. We'll glue him. He'll, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. And then also in this bag, we've got another little bunny in a boat. A uh, random bunny. And that is it. But I really, I got it for her, for the Boyd's bunny, for two bucks for her. I was like, yeah, that's, that's fine. I'll pay two dollars for her. Then I saw this really cute pink bunny um, for a dollar. It's a little pink polka dotty bunny. Damn, bunnies keep multiplying. Let me tell you, like, it's bad. They keep multiplying a lot. Not bunny related. These, um, they had these precious, like, shamrock placemats. Um, or napkins. They're nap. I think they're napkins. This is not a placemat. This is a napkin. So, yeah, this is hand done. Um, you definitely, somebody did it on their serger. It's really cute. Just this, I guess these are napkins. That's fine. Um, so these little shamrock napkins, which are going to be hella cute. They were 50 cents a piece, so $2 for those. Then here's another bag. This bag was $2. And in here we've got a... We've got a sock monkey bunny man. And, oops, we got a Valentine's Day sock monkey. So she's going to go away for next year. And then there was this little like um wreathy bunny too i was like that's cute i mean for two bucks yeah that's fine for two dollars now we got this bag i'll be honest like the reads this was another two dollar bag and 100 percent the reason why i got this one is for this little black bunny that i don't know what's going on with her and i can't tell if she's like she's kind of dirty what is this bunny o'hare anyways 
can't tell if she's meant to be aged or something or I don't know what's going on with this bunny but she's kind of creepy looking a little bit but kind of cool like this, they have she has like two different eyes and she's a little we're gonna clean her up somehow I don't know what's going on with this bunny this bunny's seen some things this is like a oh god is this bunny haunted I hope she's not haunted I hope not um then this was in the bag. This is from Cinderella, I'm pretty sure. So I'll give that to Morgan. And then we've got this probably like Dollar Tree light up bunny. Nope, Rite Aid. Light up hatching chick who does not light up anymore, which is fine. So another chicken. And then we've got a shaky egg and a Dollar Tree wind up chicken. Again, $2, that's totally fine. I did get it for that haunted bunny, though. Let's go real. This here, I'm not gonna open these. It's just a bag of eggs. So, um, eggs with flowers on them, and these were two dollars. Also, again, they're going in my tiered tray. This again, two dollars. Another bag of bunnies. Boy, I did like. I feel like I not that I blacked out at some point, and I just started like grabbing bunnies, and like any bag that had some cute bunny in it, I just like kept it going but I definitely feel like there's a lot of bunnies here so we've got this bunny it's a smart dollar on the back of it I don't even know where what that is smart dollar which seems to go with this bunny then we've got this bunny here which is in really good she's in really good shape and this has a little Frankel what is that so this one's cute again tiered tray bunnies and then these two bunnies. I thought these were adorable. So two dollars, all of those bunnies. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with the bunnies real soon. Um, eggs. Two dollars bag of eggs. And all of these eggs have holes in them. I'm not sure what they were like originally for, but maybe I guess they're like to to stick on a wreath or something, because they have holes in like different places on them. I guess you know what I bet it's for like some sort of like crafting thing they had some that were like blank and some that weren't and these are definitely breakable then almost done here I don't know what it is I can't help myself when it comes I also can't help myself when it comes to like crocheted pot holders don't ask look I got some crocheted pot holders don't ask I love these this one's a little gross um they can all use good washing. We'll wash these up and see what we get. Look, this one, like somebody definitely made on the hand loom. I made so many of these damn things when I was like eight. And then these here are bunny um, napkin rings. These were also $2. I'm gonna finish up one last thing for y'all. Well, two last things, I think. Next up. I found these pillows up front, like in the good section. These were $3 a piece and they're like green velvet. So I thought these were gonna go great with my black and white checkered pillowcases. So those were six bucks. And then the last thing I will show you in this long, 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 long thrift haul is this. So if you are old like me, do you? So I saw this and I immediately thought, well, first of all, she's wearing like leggings, like leggings here. And I saw her and I was like, that looks 80s for one. And it looks very like cabbage patchy. And so I checked the back. I don't know if these are her original clothes or not, but it definitely looks like very like vintagey. She's got this little thing that says flower on the back of it. These socks definitely look vintage. Um, so I checked her butt. Where is it? Mammy China. Where does she go? Here we go. This tag on the side here. Fur skins. 1983, 1984. Xavier Roberts, which is Cabbage Patch Kids. I was like, I seem to remember having one of these like back in the day like back in the day and 
I thought for $2, this girl is gonna go to a home where somebody is definitely gonna appreciate her. So we'll see if she's gonna live with me or is she gonna go stay with Morgan. She's gonna get a little bath. And then, um, yeah, I was like, for a vintage fur skin stall, for two bucks, absolutely. So that was my long, 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 long thrift haul. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know these aren't like the most, most watched videos on my channel, but it is the thrill of the hunt. It's kind of the same thing as like my Dollar Tree hauls. Like I love the thrill of the hunt and seeing what I can find. Same thing at the thrift store. So I get really excited when I find stuff. Anywho, I hope you liked. Um, if you do, if you stayed this long, I would just super appreciate it. If you like, like commented and subscribed, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.